Come take a look at the newest line of bases from Elric's Hobbies. Spiking bits. What's going on, Hobby Maniacs? I'm Rob Bear, and today we are checking out the new line of Death Marsh bases from Elric's Hobbies. These are really cool and very timely, of course, for the big Nurgle release and, well, just chaos in general, I suppose, or even Blight War in Age of Sigmar. There's a lot of cool uses for these. Here are some sample bases that have been painted up by Elric's painting service uh, in partnership with Elric's Hobbies. Wait a minute, just a lot of Elric's in there. Yep, you guessed it, probably the same people. <laughs> but these bases are looking fresh. I think this is an 80, nope, this is an 80 mil. This is 100 mil, so this is about the size of Mortarion. We're gonna put them under the camera on the paint bench and show you all the different sizes. Now there's about 18 different sizes. I don't even know what all these different sizes are for but i'm sure some of you out there are like hey do they have it in such and such and the, ch the chances are they do the answer is yes they have a lot of different styles of these bases but of course they have you know just the standard 32s that everybody's used to and you know flying bases dreadnought size base or dread knight size bases and things like that so let's check out their site real quick here you can see they do have quite quite a many different sizes 18 in fact counting the rounded lip as well as the beveled edge bases in here you can see the marker that lets you oh it doesn't pop down hmm, that's weird i don't know why it doesn't show it to you guys but i assure you there's about 18 different options in here that you can choose from and some of them have like 60 mil has three different sizes to choose from so that's kind of cool because sometimes those are dreadnoughts and you're going to see a lot of real estate there between them all and then you've got things like the larger bases and different sizes out there so lots of different things on up to the night titan size which i want to say is this one nope it's 170 there's the night titan or the imperial knight i say night titan old habits die hard they used to be called night titan in the 90s it's hard to retcon something that you've been saying for 20 years i suppose and give or take that time. Let's jump over to the paint table and take a closer look at these bad boys. And here we are, looking fresh underneath the camera. This is the Dreadnought size base, which I think officially is 120 by 92 millimeter ovals there. Now you can see all the great texture in here. They even have like some snakes and little poxtule bubbles and all sorts of little pus. I don't know, rivers of pus, and they even worked in some like torsos and things into here. There's some great places to put some liquid effects if you want. They'll get down to the nooks and crannies. You won't have to waste too much material, which uh, is gonna save you on the dry time as well. Great textured top right here with uh, just enough grit to not really obscure or make mounting miniatures Harder, I don't feel like in a couple of pieces of shale and stuff very good cast right there so this would go great I don't know if you could get a flying stand on here you could probably turn it sideways if you needed to with the crosshatch and then here's some of the 40 mils these of course are great for games like Malifaux or uh, privateer press gonna give you some really good detail down in there too still have some snakes still have room uh, for those liquid effects if you so desire you don't have to they'll make great dry brush you could even use lava, lava or some sort of like demon looking thing demon looking glow if you want pox jewels and different things up in there these were a 40 mil rounded lip here's a knight titan base or imperial knight base you can see lots of detail as well the bigger the base the more the detail there's going to be some crazy looking skull heads and different things here lots of snake looks like a branch something that popped open there some random bits and bobs of torsos and things and some shale work up here up top this would look great if you were converting up like a Nurgle Knight or something like that I feel like and some 55 mils if you've got some of the larger models out there that would go on these so 
no matter the size, lots and lots of detail. Oh, and I'm sure you want to see some of these because they are the traditional 32 millimeters that we all come to know and love. That's our new standard size in the Warham 40K for the most part, but they're looking good. Lots of nooks and crannies. They're going to elevate your miniatures a little bit, about a quarter of an inch or so, make them nice and taller. Now, what can they look like all painted up? Well, like I said, you got some opportunity for some liquid effects in here. You can see these two demo bases here. They used uh, some fleshy Blood for the Blood God effects here on the cadaver. I like how they painted up the snakes to be nice and stark and contrasting with the little honeycomb kind of pustule effects around the base there. You got some diseased or rotted texture up here up top and then they kind of reversed the effect here and made it nice and dark which would be a great contrast for light miniatures darker miniatures would look good on this right here again this is Elric's painting service and of course if you go over there and check them out on Facebook they'll always give you a discount for mentioning these videos right here and how they look with actual miniatures on top of them well you don't have to limit yourself to just Nurgle, here's a couple of miniatures that Elric's painting also painted up. We're not going to spend a whole lot of time on them, but you can see there, plenty of room for water effects. Like I said, some nice, very striking edge highlighting here, but no matter the case, the bases do well, not just for Nurgly looking and Nurgle styles. So lots of cool stuff there. Now, you're probably thinking, hey, how affordable are these bases? Well, it turns out they're pretty much on par with everything else out there. Let's see. Let's go up to our traditional 10 of the 32 millimeters. That's what we showed you there. 950. That's that's what I. That's less than a buck a base. I feel like for the time it saves to convert them up and lay down all the textures and do the things yourself, you're not just saving time. You're also saving money by purchasing these bases. Uh, 10 of the 25 rounds is going to only going to be eight dollars so that's not too bad let's see 40 mils if you got some terminators i don't know why i just don't use the slider 650 not too bad say you want to do a night titan what's the night titan 170 170 by 105 i think that's right nope is it what is it 170 by 105 1150 for the base right there I can't even think of what other side. Oh, I guess you could use the flying stand. What is that? 75 by 120 by 92 would be $8. That doesn't seem too bad. And the flying. I wonder what the difference is between those two. Maybe the flying stand has the cross hatching on it. I bet you the flying stand has the. Oh, they're sold out. Okay. That's why. Maybe they haven't developed it yet pretty neat oh yeah so that is a look at these fantastic bases from Elric's hobbies I feel like if you're in the market for anything like that well not only are they affordable but they also look great and can be painted up a number of different ways like we just showed you right there now if you like to be on the cutting edge when it comes to new product reviews and showcases make sure you leave us a subscription here and turn on notifications so you can be the very first to like and comment on our video deleted scenes bonus content and all the interviews and post game wrap-up videos can be located in the hall of veterans on the longward.net visit the longward.net today and try a week completely free with no strings attached that's not all the longward.net is also your hobby resource for exclusive early access with an ad-free experience to all your favorite videos. Members of the Hall of Veterans gain early exclusive access to multiple hobby videos.